Our input is now finished. All the notes, lines, expression text, and fingerings have been scored. And now it's time to look at how best to realize the information as a final score. To do that, let's click on over to the Layout tab and take a long view. Zoom out to a page height view by typing Command or Control-0. Here, I don't need this keyboard panel anymore. Might as well close that too. There we are. Hmm, well it all fits pretty nicely onto four pages, doesn't it? But the current staff size of 7 millimeters, that's .28 inches, is pretty small and hard to read for a beginning pianist. Let's line up the staff size a little bit. If you're using metric paper, then click the up arrow next to the staff text box to take it up to 7.5 millimeters. With US letter size paper, there's less headspace, so we really can't get much wider vertically, but you can at least take it up from 0.28 to 0.29 inches. It's funny how even making a small adjustment like that can really stretch a score's horizontal justification. Speaking of justification, let's use that trick we learned in the 101 course. First, select all of the bars with Command A or Control A. Then type Shift Command N or Shift Control N. Now all the notes are justified horizontally and have a certain optimal spacing that will be preserved even when we crunch things down or stretch things out. Speaking of crunching, I feel like Sibelius is really crunching things for most of this piece. The first page is nice and open with only four systems, but then there are three pages with six systems each, followed by this little scrap at the end. That's four plus six plus six plus six plus two. Um, 24 systems. With five pages, we can make it much more readable by aiming for five systems per page. Let's try that by learning some more fancy keyboard shortcuts. Click on the first bar of the piece, then shift click on the last bar of the first system on the next page. We're going to make this whole section into the first page. You could do that over here by clicking this aptly named button on the layout tab, Make into Page. But nobody serious would do that. Just do the shortcut, Shift Option Command M, or Shift Alt Control M. There's your first page. Let's do some mouse dragging now, like grabbing the top system and pulling it as high as we can go. And select that title, taking it down a bit with some Command or Control plus down arrow action. Same for that composer text. Ease up a little space between the systems. A little bit more. How about tightening the space between the staff and the osea bar? Maybe close the fourth system slightly. This is going to be a lot tighter on US letter size paper, so watch out. A top classical music publisher wouldn't have this problem here, since their standard paper size is 9 by 12. Anything else? What about dragging the start of the first bar to the right to make an opening indentation? Nice how that respaces the staves in the next system. Okay, now let's give page 2 the same treatment. Select five systems, from a click on the first bar at the top, to a shift click at the end of the fifth system. Make them into one page with shift option command M or shift alt control M. Looks good, but let's give the page some headspace with a mouse drag down on the top system. On the next page, let's get a bit fancy here. How about a click at the top, but then a shift click on the third bar of the fifth system? Try the Make into Page shortcut on that. And what you get is some more horizontal space on all those 16th notes, making it even easier to read for a beginner. Let's do a top-down drag, and since those left-hand notes are getting a bit soggy down there, let's deselect completely, then shift-click on the bottom staff, then drag up. That's how moving a bottom staff on a page works. Then click again and drag down to get the other staves to go up a little. Pretty nice. Now try the same thing on the next page. Click on top, shift click, this time on the first bar of the fifth system, then shift option command M, also some nice loose spacing there. Drag down the top a bit, and then notice how the last page now has the standard amount of systems on it, also nicely spaced. A little head space above, and let's get that bottom staff with its very low octaves up quite a bit higher, so that they don't get cut off by your printer. Finally, I suggest going through the score and looking very carefully for places where the staves are vertically too close together or too far apart. You could simply select the whole score and hit the Optimize button, 
but that might push things a bit farther apart than we intend, especially once again if you are using US letter with its lower headroom. You could end up with systems that are widely spaced in the middle and crunched on the outside, so watch out. Okay, well, that does it for the layout. Just two more little steps to go, adding a title page and a header, both coming your way in the 24th video of this 102 course.